Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are talking about how to spend smart and how to eliminate guilt when we are spending our money. Sometimes we have situations in the past where we were forced to spend and got, had to cut back, but now that we're out of the situation, we're still having trouble spending. Or maybe you spend outside of your means too often, or maybe you're buying too many things that don't really align with your values. There's lots of reasons why we try to balance as much as we can. It's not always gonna be perfect, but we try to make sure that we're sort of living harmoniously. We're getting the most out of our money. We're not just hoarding it and saving it. We're actually using it to enjoy in our lives it's because that's really what money's for. Um, yeah, you should be responsible with it, but you should also be enjoying your life today, right? Because we're, we're only on this earth for so long. Um, we want to make sure that we're enjoying our money, you know, living our best life um, without being in debt and without feeling guilt. But how can we do that? How can we make our purchases smart? First thing you should do is look at your finances. Look at your monthly expenses. Look at wh what needs to get paid off automatically. Mortgage, car, loan payments, whatever. Um, also factor into there your food, gas, all that stuff. Even though you might not be spending the same amount on that stuff, you have a ballpark figure in your head um, of what that could cost. So that kind of has to be factored in there. I would also factor in savings. Guys, savings is so important. You really need to have savings because things come up in life that you will need a little bit more money for. Uh, it could be anything, car stuff, car trouble, teeth issues, not speaking from experience or anything, <laughs> where you need to get a root canal. You don't want that debt hanging over you. So you want a cushion for that. Look at your history a little bit. It doesn't have to be a big project. Pull it up on your phone. So go scrolling through like an old credit card statement and see what is draining your money. Um, where have you been spending that you can probably cut back on a little bit to spend on something else, right? Pay attention to those types of things because again, that could be a big drain and it doesn't have to be. So look at where you can probably cut back if you're spending too much in one area and get some awareness of how your spending habits are. After you've done that, after all your money's been set aside, after you've reviewed you know, how you spend your money, now you're left with the money that you can actually spend. <laughs> What do I spend it on? You know, some of you might not even have that problem. You're like, Jen, take me to Target. I'll tell you exactly what to spend on. But we have to be judicious here. You have to be really picky because again, you're only dealing with a certain amount of money. And you want to make sure that your money is giving you the highest return on investment, the highest return on your happiness, the highest return on utilities. So something that brings you joy. And this is very, very individual. It's very personal. So I can't tell you like what brings you joy. No one else should be able to tell you that. You should know what makes you happy and focus on that. Now, if you're somebody who is an impulsive spender, if you're somebody who is used to buying everything, anything, whenever, this might take you a little longer to to kind of hone in on because you really have to be picky. This is this is managing your money and budgeting here because everything's cute, guys. Everything is cute and you'll want it all and we just, that's not what we're trying to do here. We're trying to really get it to the bare minimum or of the things that bring you the most joy. I mean, and there's exceptions to every rule. Impulse purchases, once in a while, you'll buy that impulse thing that you do end up liking and loving and using that does happen and nine times out of 10, you won't get joy out of that item <laughs> or lasting joy. It might be momentary, but it's not gonna be lasting. So you wanna figure out what you value. Think about your past purchases. What have you bought in the past that still sticks out to you that you're like, man, that was a really great purchase or wow, I, I really loved you know going to that concert that one time or you know hanging out with my friends at the restaurant. Like things that stick out to you are probably the things that you want to focus your spending on. So definitely look at your past. Um, is it really cool makeup purchase that you bought? Maybe you bought a piece of clothing that you love wearing all the time. Those are the kinds of things that will give you the most return on your money. So be real with yourself and don't kid yourself. Again fluff stuff is cute and great and probably won't hurt you in the long run but it depends on how much you're doing it though like those little one dollar five dollar things they add up guys they add up and before you know it you've spent 40 50 bucks on all the cute stuff and when you could put that money towards something else you're actually going to use so be judicious and these can be bigger ticket items they might be smaller ticket items a cruise or a trip um, is a little bit more expensive than say a nice shirt right um, so when you're looking at the money that you can afford to spend within that cycle or whenever it is, you 
can choose. You can say, I'm going to spend this all on one thing, which I don't recommend, because you don't wanna put all your eggs in one basket every single month. I don't recommend that because again, like that's the future. You're saving up for a bigger purchase that could happen a month from now, three months from now, a year from now, but you still have to live for today. Put some money towards that bigger ticket item and also have money for today to spend because today is just as much of a time as the future. <laughs> um, create your wish list. Um, creating a wish list is really good because it keeps purchases intentional. It makes you focus. A good example I like to use, let's say we're talking about clothing and you're getting dressed and you're noticing many times that you're looking for a certain color shirt or a certain type of shoe to complete your outfit or accessory and it's happening over and over and over again. You've tried different options, you've tried to make other things work, but you're still kind of coming back to it. That's the kind of thing that I would add to a wish list because that's something that you know you're gonna look for, you know you're gonna use, and it's happened over and over again. Um, you can keep a wish list on your phone, you can keep it on a piece of paper, you can really have it anywhere. Even online when you're shopping, you can kind of put things into an Amazon wish list. There's lots of different ways to do this. Um, again, it keeps your spending focused and intentional. The other thing is to like actually see if it's something you want. Just because you don't have it doesn't mean you have to have it. it it has to be something that you know you're gonna use. Um, a note about sales. I talked about sales in my other video, but sales only work for you if the sale is geared towards something you've been wanting. Um, I, I don't recommend buying stuff on sale just because it's 40% off, 50% off, 90% off. It doesn't matter. Like if it's something that you haven't been wanting, then you're wasting money. So put your wants first and then put the sale second. Make sure it's something on your wish list. make sure it's something you have been wanting and then let the sale happen. I know sometimes we can't always um, wait on sales, like sometimes situations come up and you need something sooner, fair enough. But if you can afford to wait for a sale, that doesn't hurt. I, I've been wanting this toner and lo and behold, I got an email from Ulta telling me that their toners actually were on sale, that brand, that specific brand. So everything happened to line up. I was able to get what I wanted and I got it for sale. So take advantage of that. Um, again, make sales work for you and not against you. A lot of places have everything on clearance and don't let, don't let that seduce you. Make sure it's something that you've been wanting and then let the sale thing follow because otherwise you're just wasting your money on stuff you probably more than likely won't use. If you really don't know what you value or like, yeah, that it all comes back to knowing yourself and knowing you know what your values are and what you actually want. If you don't really have anything to spend on that month, let's say you have this money to spend and you're just kind of sitting there wondering like, oh, well, what can I spend it on? Like, don't force yourself to spend money if you don't actually want to spend your money. Rest assured, there's gonna be something along the line that you will want. Don't put a time limit on spending your cash give yourself that freedom. Something will always come along that you're gonna want and you wanna make sure you have the money for it. So don't feel pressure to spend it all at once. That's a really good way to spend your money in the wrong way. Don't feel like you have to spend all your money today just cause it's there. Yeah, let's go over the different things you can do. Look at your finances, look at your fixed expenses, look at your savings, make sure that you're looking at your past and you're seeing what your previous patterns were, um, what, is a money drain that you can cut back on. After you do that, then you think about the things that you value, the things that bring you the most joy, things that you will use. Um, actually imagine those items in your everyday life, how they will fit in. Um, a lot of times we buy things thinking we're gonna use them, but we haven't actually thought about the reality of the item. Like it could just sit there forever and we thought we were gonna use it, but other things got in the way um, and we weren't able to use it as much as we thought we were. So actually picture yourself with that item, um, picture yourself using it, is it actually something you will use? Is it something that fits into your life? Where will you store it? Where will you put it? All these things come into play. Um, create a wish list. That's the other thing. Create your wish list. Um, make it a slow wish list. Make it um, something very intentional um, where you have ideas for things you could use. Throw it on there. And again, that wish list can change. There's things that you might want to take out of that wish list. There's things that you decide after a while that you don't really need as much as you thought you did. And then there might be stuff that you do know that you want. So so keep that wish list going. This is not a comprehensive video. Um, there's plenty of ways that you can keep your spending smart. These are just a couple of ways to, to jumpstart that. So comment down below, what have you been saving up for? Um, what have you bought in the past that you're so happy you spent on that, that has brought you so much value and joy over time? What are some things that you're saving for? What are some things that you have bought in the past that you love? Um, you're the one who has to pay that bill at the end of the month. You wanna make sure it's working for you and not against you. So 
Have a great day, guys. I'll talk to you later. Bye.